Hello to the two people that might watch this video. I just wanted to kind of show my uh, survival server, introduce myself. I intend to start making uh, build videos, just showing off the builds and how I do them, what the server makes, and everything. But uh, my name's Kyle. I've been playing Minecraft since the alpha version came out, and this is my newest server. It's really small and private. It's all survival based, no mods, no cheats, no nothing, all vanilla. There's only a handful of people that play in here, but that's how I prefer it, honestly. But anyways, this is my castle. This is the first real big build that I did on this server. Um, it took about a month, all survival. I'll show you the mine that uh, produced this here a little later, but I'll just give you a brief tour. Nothing too extreme, but it did take a long time. I still intend to do a big central tower connecting those two arches up there, but uh, for now, I tend to get burnt out on big projects, so this will work for right now. Anyways, that's the basic gist of the castle, and the next big build I'm working on is uh, a mosque. I had no intentions of making this thing as big as it was when I went into it, but um, right now this front wall is 155 blocks long. It's going to be 155 by 155, so uh, just over 25,000 square blocks, if you will. It's based off the uh, Yama Masjid or something like that in Delhi. It's actually a really cool building. And if you're wondering, yes, I do go outside, you know, to get the mail. I pee in the yard occasionally. But that's the beginning of the mosque. And over there you have uh, the start of Simon's platform house. Simon's from across the pond. And there in the distance, my friend Nick is recreating the Notre Dame Cathedral, loosely based, of course. That's currently in the works as well. And you have the crappy first buildings on the server over here. Nom, 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 nom. And we'll go up here to Nick's area. One crap shack. This is the aptly named Stoned Bridge. You know, because it's made of stone. Of course. <laughs> and then you have uh, Nick's house. Pretty cool. Then you have the uh, most overly complex wheat harvesting auto farm thing ever. It's just a series of uh, four automated wheat farms which you can harvest with one pull of the lever. I believe he says it nets around five stacks per, per lever pull which isn't bad. But all piston based, just lets the water out, flows down through here. All of it collects here. But uh, that's kind of the basic tour right now. The server's been around, I think, for three months now. And uh, it goes slower than a lot of servers because it's, again, all survival-based. No cheats. But that's the tour. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll have more videos to come. Bye. Now I'll show you guys the mine that uh, created this castle. Even after completing it, I still had like five double chests filled with stone uh, for further projects, but I spent days and days in this mine doing nothing but uh, clearing ground. Made this little cart network for it because I was tired of walking all the way, all the way out from the mine and then all the way up to the castle tower.
this will spit out into the main cavern. I don't know exactly how big it is, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably like 150, 160 blocks long and maybe 80 blocks wide. There's uh, strip mines on each side for the first half anyways. A couple of these are, you know, 500 blocks long. A couple of them are 2,000 blocks long. And then this one, at last measure, it was uh, just over 4,500 blocks long and uh, there's rails all the way to the end of it and I added up how much iron it took to build this thing and it's just over 28 stacks it's a seven minute cart ride I won't torture, torture you with that ride but I just wanted to show you guys what it took to build that castle in survival mode I have respect for creative builders, but I just think it's so much more fulfilling when you actually go out and mine everything yourself, collect the resources, and then build it from scratch. I think, but to each their own.